Hey, it's Jennifer from Active Wall Systems, and today we are on site at Piedmont Arts Association in Martinsville, Virginia. This is a nonprofit art gallery and is also the site of our most recent commercial door installation. We provide visual art, performing arts, and educational outreach to our community. This is our fifth performance hall and part of our capital campaign, Growth and Restoration, that we started in 2020. We um, are building uh, extended space that is outside, it's a cover roof on our patio. As you can see behind me, construction is still underway to finish the patio. And before the thermally broken aluminum doors left our production facility, they were pre-installed on our test wall for quality assurance. The active wall folding doors that Piedmont Arts chose for this location are outswing in a two left, two right configuration, meaning that two of the panels can fold to the left side and two of the panels can fold to the right side. One of the reasons that we wanted an active wall door is to increase our space. So when we had opening receptions, we can open these doors and spill out outside. We have rental opportunities for the community to rent, again, make this a much larger space, and just to be able to enjoy our beautiful grounds. So while we're here to see their custom active wall folding door, let's also check out the amazing art exhibits on display inside. Please come join us up in the galleries and I'll show you what we have going on. We are here in our Hooker Garrett galleries where we have a very important exhibit, G's Bend Quilts. G's Bend is a small community in Alabama. They are African American women that started quilting in the early 19th century. Their popularity has been growing tenfold with their um, unusual designs that have never been seen before. Um, they have had commemorative stamps made after them and even Michelle Obama's official portrait. Her skirt has um, a G. Benz design. I am Karen Despot. This is my first solo exhibit here at Piedmont Arts. This is the evolution of my art over the years. First painting I did when I was about 14, standing on the balcony in North Myrtle Beach and painting in acrylics. The next one was my first commission and it was from my grandmother uh, commissioned me to paint her house. And that was back in 1974. Then it goes on to a couple of them from when I was in college, and there are stories behind both of those. Uh, there was a big break there after college, and I worked at advertising agencies as my degree is in graphic design. Eventually moved here to Virginia and had children, worked for uh, a furniture company painting his furniture and sewing wedding gowns and painting murals on walls in schools. And I wanted to see if I could still do fine art. So I did the three portraits of my children in 1999. And from there, I just continued doing portraits and painting and sewing. This quilt has a story. I won the fabric, Tilda, who is a fabric designer, comes up with a line of fabrics a couple times a year. There was a contest to win fat quarters of each of the fabrics in that line. I designed the quilt then, which is a hexagon star. I published the pattern, it's on Etsy, and then I made the quilt and Pam Randall quilted it for me. Pam and I both decided it would make a gorgeous table cover for a wedding cake at a wedding. I love the colors in this one, and it's actually one of my husband's favorite. I had paint left over on my palette, and I just kind of turned on my earphones, got the canvas, got the paint, and started painting whatever my hand wanted to do. And this is how it turned out, and everybody sees a little bit something different in it when they look at it. This piece of artwork is titled Isolation. There's a photographer named Jamie Beck, so she and her husband moved to Provence, France. And while there, during the pandemic, they were totally isolated. Following her on Instagram, they could not leave their apartments except for an hour a day. As a photographer, she did a photograph per day 
and had the prints available online to sell. This is one of the photographs that she took of herself looking out the window. I contacted her through Instagram and said, I'd love to paint this. She said, go for it. But it is one of my favorite paintings because it says a lot about what we were all going through during that time. In the panel gallery, we have work by Jonathan Lee, Antiquity Second Hand. Having Piedmont Arts in our community is just tremendous because not many small towns have such a wonderful museum to showcase national and international art. And then to be part of that, the exhibits that are on display have just been tremendous over the years. Everybody is totally amazed when they step into this building. Having the new space will be just wonderful because when we have functions here, there will then be an outdoor space, a larger space for us to gather, and it'll be a great space for those of us that maybe want to have a function, a wedding, a shower, and be able to have it here amongst the art. Piedmont Arts is free and open to the public Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5. For more information, please visit us on our website at piedmontarts.org. Hope to see you soon in the galleries. For more information about Active Wall Systems and our custom folding doors, visit activewall.com.